I'm probably about a 19 handicap. Yeah, I have fun. I wouldn't care if I had a 100 handicap. Every hole is a new opportunity. I don't play that often. I play maybe a dozen times a year. Now, as I'm getting a little bit better, I've just picked certain people I want to beat. Barkley's a given. Ray Romano, Bruce McGill. A lot of these guys are at the bottom dozen of the uh, pack. I want to drain the swamp. <laughs> Putting is my strength. I just enjoy reading the greens. They always scared me for a while. You know, I thought, how do people read the greens like this? What do you mean it's breaking that way? What do you mean it's uphill? That looks downhill to me. But now the green, it's like the safe zone for me. Well, you know, I used to study golfers uh, in their 20s, their swing and videos, you know, YouTube and stuff. And then I realized that I'm not in my 20s and my body doesn't work like their body does. So then I started studying older golfers. Ernie Eltz is about my size. So I've been watching his swing and I've been watching some Mickelson chipping tapes. And I just drive the club behind the ball and I let the ball pop up and release. The best swing tip? Wow, none of them work. So I'm not sure which is the best one I've gotten. <laughs> Probably the grip, seeing your two knuckles on the left hand and, and not squeezing so tight, not holding so tight. Whenever I golf with a professional, I'll ask them for one tip at the end of the day. John Daly told me that when you get older, take an extra club length in the back nine because you're not hitting it as far anymore. Charlie Hoffman told me I was having trouble getting out of a bunker. He said, try to hit the ball with the hosel of your club. And I said, if I try to hit it with the hosel, I'm gonna hit it. He goes, no, you won't. So, of course, I hit it with the hosel and then shanked it out of the sand shop. I said, what happened? He goes, I don't know, and he walked away. <laughs> My greatest moment on the golf course was probably shooting this commercial with Arnold Palmer and just watching him putt and sinking one putt after another. And then him watching me for about a half hour miss putt after putt after putt. <laughs> So I asked Arnold Palmer if I could have one tip, what would it be? He would say, I would have to golf with you for the whole day. We should do that, and I'll give you a tip. And I wish I took him up on that. As an actor, I'm always in front of crowds, so they don't really bother me. The first six years, I was rattled because I knew I was on camera, and I wasn't a good golfer, and I was even a worse golfer because I was so nervous. I was duffing the ball and shanking it, and it was horrible. I couldn't wait for the round to be over. Every year I say, well, this year, you know, I'm gonna practice and take lessons. So next year I'll be much, much better and everybody will be impressed, but that hasn't happened yet. 